Joining us now is Senator Marco Rubio of Florida. He serves on the Foreign Relations and Select Intelligence Committee. Senator, good morning. Good morning. What's your position on what happened last night? It was the right move. First of all, it was legal. It was in furtherance of both uh, enforcing an agreement that the United States and Russia were a party to for the removal of chemical weapons. It was in furtherance of, a, uh, of the treaty that, the, that they signed. It was in furtherance of international law that says that you cannot use chemical weapons against anyone, not to mention innocent civilians. It was in furtherance of the U.N. Security Council resolution. It was also in our national interest. There are hundreds of American troops now in the region and in Syria who could be threatened by sarin gas. If Assad is willing to use that gas against civilians, why would he not be willing to use it against Americans? And uh, so it was important. And it, it was proportional and it was targeted, but it was not just symbolic. He specifically targeted and degraded, significantly degraded, a key military installation which has been used in the past and I believe would have been used in the future for chemical attacks. So if the, the president wants to launch more missile strikes, does he need to go to Congress? It depends on the circumstances. If it is in response to an exigent circumstance or an immediate threat to our national interest, then I don't believe the president needs to come before Congress. As the commander in chief, he has the right to pursue that. It's been the position of every president before him as well, and I agree with that. If he wants to engage in a broader conflict, then I certainly think he needs to come to Congress, and it would behoove him to do so because Congress has to pay for it. They have to appropriate the money for that. But uh, that's not where we are right now. But, uh, but as of last night, just talking about that one instance alone, what he did was the right thing. 